first thing I want to do in this part of the tutorial is to make sure that whenever we earn an achievement, we, can, we will be able to see that we have earned that achievement in the menu. So let's say that I earned the W achievement. Well, then this one should change the color from gray to yellow or gold so that I can actually see that I, I already earned this achievement. Because right now, if I earn this achievement, it's gold out here, but I never changed the color in here. So what I need to do is that I need to jump into my script and in here I need to make sure that I can actually access the um, the sprite for changing the color of the achievement so I need to make a public sprite called public sprite here called uh, unlocked sprite and when I've set that I need to access it from within my achievement here when I unlock my team when I earn my achievement here I need to access that so that I can change it so I already um, have access to the achievement from within my achievement class but I also need access to the achievement manager so that I can access this unlock sprite and I can access that by writing pri um, private static um, achievement manager and then I need to write instance and this is the start of a design pattern called the singleton and what the singleton is is basically a way of accessing a um, object without having an instance of that object and it also makes sure that you only have one instance of the object but that's not really relevant in unity the main point here is that you can access it um, through um, the class so you can access all information inside or all the data inside the class without having an instance of the object and then we need to create a um, property to access it. So you can either right click on it, click refactor and encapsulate field or you can write this code yourself if you don't have um, Visual Studio. First of all we need to remove the set function here because we're only interested in the get and what we need to do is that we need to make an if statement that says if instance equals null. So if this instance isn't instantiated already, if it doesn't exist, well then we're gonna say instance equals game um, what is it called game object dot find object of type and then achievement manager so this basically finds the achievement manager and sets the instance as a reference so that we can access this from other classes then we can go to our achievement script here and uh, go to the earn achievement function and then we can say well if I earned my achievement then I need to say achievement ref dot get component dot image I need to right click on it go to resolve using unity engine dot UI here and if you don't have it then go up here and write unity engine dot UI if you don't have Visual Studio then I need to write dot image like that sprite equals and now I need to use my singleton so I just create this singleton called instance and I just create this public unlocked sprite so from in here I can say uh, achievement manager dot instance dot unlocked sprite so now I just set the sprite of my achievement ref here when I unlocked it and this achievement ref is basically a reference between the actual achievement and the visual team we have in here so the achievement ref is a reference to this part where it's written press w so if i jump back into my script and save this then i should go back into unity and test if this works so i'm gonna earn my achievement uh, actually i need to set a reference of course so first of all i need to open my achievement manager here and then we have this unlocked sprite and the sprite needs to be set so we need to click on this and then find the achievement that is unlocked achievement neutral and now it should work if I run my game press the W button press I and then you'll see that um, the achievement is earned now so now I can actually differ my achievements from uh, between uh, now I can differ between earned achievements and unearned achievements so now that we can actually see that we earned the achievements I would like to save the progress because right now whenever we earn an achievement it's it gets reset whenever I open and close the game and that's not very ideal so I would like to make sure that when I earn an achievement 
that this one stays lit up so that I can see that I earned it and I wouldn't be able to earn it again if I play the game later. So to do that we need to use uh, Unity Player Proofs. And Player Proofs is a way of saving uh, variables um, in Unity and then saving them between game sessions. And the way that you access Player Proofs is by writing Player Proofs dot set and then you set the variable type that you want to set. For example, if I want to set save an integer, well then I say set int, and then I write the stone key. It could be points, for example, and then I say uh, ten points, for example. I would save in that, and then somewhere else in my code. Um, also, of course, I need to save it so I can say player proofs dot save. So now it's saved, and then anywhere else in my code, I can say player proofs dot get integer. And I want to get the points because I just called that one points up here, and I can just make a new uh, integer here. My points equals this one. So now I just save it in the memory, memory, and I loaded it out here. So this is basically what we're going to do with the different values, so that we can actually save our uh, achievement. So to do this, we actually need to create a new function here for saving our achievement. So underneath our earn achievement, we need to make a new function called um, save achievement. So public void save achievement. And here we actually need to tell um, if unlocked is true. So instead of doing it up here, where we say unlocked is true, well, then we want to do it down here from uh, our save achievement. And instead of just saying it, setting it true, I would like to create a bool here called value. And we're going to set unlock to value so that whenever we save an achievement, we can save if it's um, if it's locked or, or unlocked. So we can actually say save achievement and then save an achievement as not locked, for example, if that's what we want to. So then we are going to make an integer, 10 points, and it's equal to um player prefs dot get integer points and the reason that we're doing this is because if I already have some points saved in my memory uh, in unity well then I need to s uh, put that amount of point on top of the new amount of point that I just earned so that uh, we this this is basically a in precaution so that we don't lose any points when we save so if if we only earn 10 points now and we already earned 30 earlier, well then when I save this achievement, then I don't want the 10 points to overwrite the 30 points we saved earlier. So we're going to get the points out of the memory first, and then we're going to say um, player prefs that set integer points, and then I'm going to say temp points plus equals points. So we're going to add the temporary points that we had in the memory already, plus the points that we we just um, we, we just earned now, and then we're gonna say player prefs dot set int name comma value question mark one zero. Okay, so this is basically a way of saving a boolean into the memory because um, you can't say player prefs that set bool here there's only set float set in, and set string so my way of say saving if this achievement is earned or not is basically by saying well we're gonna say player prefs dot set integer and we're gonna save it under the name of the achievement so let's say this achievement is called press w well then it's gonna be saved under press w and then we're gonna save an integer value and this value is basically based on on this so the integer value is going to be 1 or 0. If if this value here is false, if I say save achievement false, well, then it's going to be saved as 0. If I say save achievement true, well, then it's going to be saved as 1. So whenever I load it out, I can figure out if this achievement was earned or not. So I hope this makes sense. This is basically an easier way of m making an if statement. I could also say if value equals true, then I say player pref that set int set integer uh, name dot uh, one for example and then I would make an else if statement here saying well if it's false then player press the set int name zero 
So this is the same, I'm just doing it in one line instead. So when we have saved this information, we actually need to save. Well, then I'm going to make a player prefs. Save to make sure that I save it. Right now, I'm not sure if it's 100% necessary to do it this way, where you actually put a value in instead of just saying it that every time you save an achievement that it's, it's true. But I'm just going to set it up like this because maybe we're going to use it later. So when we have saved an achievement, we also need to be able to load it. So underneath, we're going to create a new function called public void load achievement. And it doesn't take any parameters. And down here, we need to say unlocked equals player prefs dot get integer. And because up here we already saved if, if the achievement was unlocked um, in an integer. So we're going to get integer name, the name of the achievement itself. And then I'm going to ask, well, is it uh, one? Then I'm going to return true and else I'm going to set false. So this is again one of these if statements that says, well, we are going to look for a player prefs, uh, integer player pref with the same name as this achievement. If there is a saved at one on, on that spot, well, then we return true to unlocked. If it isn't one, well, by making this colon here, if it isn't one, well, then we return false to unlocked so that we can load the achievement and see if it's true or false. So if unlocked, so if our achievement is unlocked, well, then we need to write the points. And out here in Unity, we have, if we play our game, we have some points written up here above our uh, menus here. And it's this amount of points we want to get because when we load an achievement, when we start our game, we load all the achievements in, then we need to set the correct amount of points here. And to do that, we actually need a reference to the points. So our achievement manager here needs to be able to access these points. So if we jump back into the code and go to the achievement manager, well, then under our underneath our log sprite, for example, we can make a public text. And this text should be called um, text points or something. So now we have a public text here, and that's the one we need to access from within our code. So if we jump back into Unity here, and see on the achievement manager, then you'll see that we have this empty slot now called text points. And we need to find these points inside our achievement menu. So you can see under the canvas here, under achievement menu, we have the points actually. And these are the points that we need to add to um, achievement manager. So just take them and drag them into the spot here. So now we actually have the text so that we can manipulate with these points text saying points 10 for example from within our code so now we can jump back into our achievement here and start writing the code to change that text so to get those points we need to say achievement manager dot instance to get through the singleton dot points text points dot text and it's equal to points because we want to read write points colon plus player prefs get integer points so when we're saving our points <coughs> sorry when we're saving our points we save them under the tag points so we get them out here by saying points and we're going to write them inside our text points here so this line of codes code makes sure that we actually load in our text so besides that we also need to change the what is it called the sprite of the the achievement inside the menu so that it's golden because if it's unlocked well then we need to make sure that it has the correct spa sprite and we have up here a line of code here that actually does this for us so we can press ctrl c here go all the way down here and paste it so now we're sure that whenever we unlocked uh, load an unlocked achievement that it has the correct sprite inside our menu so now we need to call load achievement and save achievement save achievement is uh, going to be called whenever we unlock an achievement because when we earned an achievement well then we also need to save that we just earned it so in here we're gonna say save achievement and we're gonna say true because it's unlocked so now it's unlocked and it's saved uh, we also need to load our team so every time we create a new achievement let's say that we run our game the first time we earn a bunch of achievements 
then we run it again well then when we create those achievements again because we create them every time we start our game well then we need to check if they are all unlocked or not so in here in our um, achievement constructor we can basically say load achievement and then we can save this so now we are actually have added the functionality for saving and loading achievements so if we go back into unity and run our game and we earn our achievement by pressing w well then you can see it's already earned in here so if i stop my game and play it again then it should be earned when i open this up and as you can see that um, press w is earned and we saved it because we just had our achievement closed and open and as you can see we also have the points so we just uh, gained five points by earning this one so we actually just gave the f uh, gave this achievement menu the points functionality by using player preps because we save and load them so in the text um, test area or in the test test um, period of a game it's often very useful to delete these player preps so that we can actually test that it works later so if you want to test these player preps you can actually go to um, for example in your achievement manager go to the start function here and then write player prefs dot delete all so delete all delete all save data from your game so if you already save something with player prefs then don't delete all because maybe you want to keep it that way um, but for now I'm only testing uh, the achievement system so I can easily delete all if you want to delete something specific you can say player prefs dot delete key then you can for example for example say points so we delete the points if that's what you want but right now if in the test area it's often that you keep this delete all but remember if you have this delete all remember to comment it out when you release your game or when you play your game for real uh, because else this one is gonna ruin your save function basically so remember to remove um, so as you can see if I have this one well then it's not gonna save anything if I open up my game then it already deleted my prayer for and I haven't saved this item anymore even if I earn it now and I can see that I have it well if I open and close my game it's not gonna be earned and I'm not gonna have any points here I also just noticed that whenever I earn an achievement when I have this in in game the points are not updated yet they should be updated right away whenever I earn an achievement as well so if you jump back into your code here um, and then go to the achievement manager uh, in here in the earn achievement here we also need to set the points so basically before we start this code routine well then we need to say points text I think it was called text point dot text equals points plus player prefs dot get integer points so whenever we earn this we're gonna get the correct amount of points right away so if we save this and go back into unity and run our game and I earn this achievement by pressing W you'll see that the amount of points here is actually granted right away so that we can see it and it still resets whenever we open and close our game because we haven't removed that thing with the player prefs so maybe you want the points to say point zero from the beginning so we can just write point zero here by selecting it so now that we have the functionality for saving and loading the achievements and saving and loading the points connected to the achievements well then we can start to look at some more advanced achievements so in the next part of this tutorial i would like to look at achievements that are actually dependent on each other so that we can create one achievement that is dependent on a series of other achievements and this achievement won't be earned until the series of achievements has been earned